Welcome to my video. This is Ecogen. I'll be going over the auto fishing system, the changes, how it works, and the math. Fishing can now be done automatically if you buy the auto bait. Go to any fishing ground and the general merchant will have it in the bait tab. It costs 10 silver per auto bait. To use it, simply right click on it and it will automatically go through all the bait. The max amount of daily leisure points have been increased to 4,500 points. Each bait used consumes three leisure points. So if you wanted to spend all your points within a day, it takes 1,500 baits. The time it takes to complete an auto bait is 25 seconds. So if you want to use up all 1,500 baits within a day, you're looking at 37,500 seconds or 10.4 hours. With that in mind, the Angler's Pearls have been reworked. Angler's Pearls are the numbers you earn depending on the type of fish caught. The minimum pearls are 15, with the highest rarity of fish yielding 150 pearls. So if we assume you spent all 1500 baits at 15 pearls, you're looking at 22,500 total pearls per day at the rate of 15 pearls per fish. But of course, you will catch better fish, but that's RNG and an average. There is an end coin version of the auto bait. It is only purchased with end coins, and it cannot be purchased with Hongmoon coins. The bait still uses three leisure points per bait. However, it only takes 15 seconds to complete the auto fishing, while the free bait takes 25 seconds, meaning if you've used 1500 of Tygon's auto bait, it will only take 6.2 hours to complete instead of 10.4 hours. And it has a high chance of catching rare fish. So you definitely don't have to buy the paid auto bait version. The free version is absolutely okay, but if you are a wallet warrior, then go right ahead. Now with your angler's pearls, you can buy the angler's upgraded pouch. If we assume we have zero pearls, and with the base calculation of 15 pearls per fish, and you used 1500 bait, that's 22,500 pearls, meaning you can buy 18 upgrade pouches per day as the bare minimum. Auto bait costs 10 silver, so you will be out of 150 gold per day as your expenses. The upgrade pouch rewards guarantee one of four crystals. We'll assume some calculations and these numbers are based on the current market price at the time of the video for NA. So figures may and will vary. 17 to 28 soulstone crystals. Current market place is 84 silver each, meaning you can get 14.2 gold min or 23.5 gold max. 17 to 28 sacred crystals. Current market is 3 gold each, meaning you can get 51 gold min or 84 gold max. 4 to 7 moonstone crystals. Current market is 8 gold each, meaning you can get 32 gold min or 56 gold max. 4 to 7 Elysian crystals. Current market is 7 gold each, meaning you can get 28 gold min or 49 gold max. Now these are the values you can get, like value in materials, because they are account bound, so you can't sell these. Something that's not displayed in the tooltip is the chance of getting one of four bonus materials. It's RNG to get 57 soulstone crystals, 57 sacred crystals, 15 moonstone crystals, or 15 Elysian crystals as a bonus. So taking into account the RNG and the guarantees, the potential minimum of upgrade pouches is 18 per day based on the figures of using all 1500 baits at the rate of 15 pearls per fish. The probability of getting any combination of material rewards per pouch plus the RNG bonus and given how inflated the materials are in the marketplace, you definitely will profit in value against your 150 gold expense. 
Again, these materials are account bound and thus cannot be traded or sold. But that's okay because this is, a, this is great for players who don't want to actively farm for materials or they need a source of side income for extra materials without needing to pay the inflated prices on the market. As for the fish network treasure pouch, I would not recommend it as the percentage is very low to get a pet. If you do happen to get lucky, then sure, you can salvage the pet for a pet pack. But we're talking about RNG, so if you really want to gamble, as they only cost 600 pearls per pouch, then go ahead and try your luck. Alright, so that's how auto fishing works. It's definitely worth doing. I will include the changes to the amount of pearls per fish, all the numbers and calculations I talked about, that will be down below for your visual reference. As always, my social links will be in the video description. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace out.